I miss the things that I was able to do. I didn't have anywhere to go. We're in so much pain. I'm isolated in this flat. Every day is a battle for Adrian and many others diagnosed with fibromyalgia. On the outside, everything looks perfect, but on the inside, Adrian struggles with debilitating pain spread all over her body. That's my beautiful girl. Thank you. I worked 40 hours a week um, and then lost my job through ill health because of the condition. These days where I am really down and I, I will cry because I miss the things that I was able to do. Um, isolated in this flat, basically. You have to have uh, pain on the four quadrants of your body as well as the axial skeleton. And, uh, and it needs to be chronic pain, so it needs to be at least three months or longer. Most people will come with symptoms of uh, uh, chronic back pain, maybe arm and leg pain. The second most prevalent uh, symptom is the fatigue. So they will be severely fatigued and tired, which could be quite disabling. Anyone can develop fibromyalgia, but women seem to be affected the most. One in 20 may be affected to some degree, and one in three people with fibromyalgia will develop depression. The exact cause is still unknown. Help is available from local support groups and it's used. We were overwhelmed by the number of people who turned up to the group. Fibromyalgia is a very isolating condition and often you need to meet other people who have the same condition so that they understand and you can help each other to cope with it. A normal day, you know, we look quite well like we are doing now, but what they don't see is the day after is that, you know, we can be laying in bed for hours and hours because we're in so much pain. I choose to support this group because it helped me. I didn't have anywhere to go when I first was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Uh, I found this group and now I, I help them in whatever way I can. Charities still need fundraisers like Paul, who is walking 900 miles from Dover to Cape Wrath. It's a good time to be doing it. This is part of that turning the focus, you know, because the, the, the charities, long before I ever came along and got interested, uh, is got trying to help people nationally. Just try to be physically active. So do anything you can. Find something you like that might be dog walking, that might be dancing, anything. It doesn't, you don't have to go to gym to do active exercise. Adrian started a petition to make fibromyalgia a disability in the UK. It was debated in Parliament in April. What the petitioners are asking the government to do is to recognise that once someone gets fibromyalgia, uh, that they, are, they should be recognised as being disabled. Uh, in, in terms of benefits, in terms of the health treatment that they receive uh, and, and many other things. We are hoping to put pressure on Parliament and the government to recognise fibromyalgia as a disability. The petition team is now applying for backbench business debate on fibromyalgia. When I started the petition I had a lady that actually messaged me because she was really bad with her depression and I was helping and supporting her. Um, and unfortunately it was too late. She took her own life. So reach out, um, don't, let it, don't let it get to that point.